Hey, this is Richard Hansen here from Impact Presentations. One of the general ideas of a mask is to hide from people what you don't want them to see. And we can use the very same principles in our presentation slides to not only hide what we don't want people to see, but also to highlight some elements on our slides that we do want people to see. And I'm going to show you how to apply both of these methods using the masking effects. Okay, so what I have here is I have a slide with an image on it that has been downloaded from Unsplash. And what I want to do is I want to remove every portion of this image except for the part where they are holding hands. So what I can simply do is click on the image and then go to Format Picture and then in the drop down under the crop area I have got an area which asks me to mask to shape and I'm just going to choose the round shape. But what happens in PowerPoint is it will automatically correspond that shape to the existing dimensions. Now we can change this quite easily simply by going to the advanced formatting area and then I can change the crop position so to make it exactly round I'm going to make it the same as the height and that has made it and that has made it to the same height and of course now what I want to do is change the picture position so I can use the offset areas so the x, uh, the x axis and the y axis to change the position of the picture within that shape and then of course once I've done that it's okay once I've done that I can then of course go about and change the size and I can add uh, lines or whatever I want to do to that image. So that's one way of doing it. However, an easier way to do it is to set the picture squarely in the first place so we don't have to adjust it. So what, how I will do that is simply just go to the crop area and I will crop that image until it was fairly square. Okay, so now I've set it up, I can simply do the same thing. I will go ahead and mask that to the shape. And so it will now correspond to the existing shape. And there I have it. So there's a variety of reasons we may want to do that. But what happens if we want to leave the entire image in there, but just highlight the fact that they are holding hands? So what we will do now is I have the same image. And I want to leave the image in there but highlight it. So in other words, I will reduce the transparency of everything I don't want highlighted and bring the fact that they are holding hands to life. So I'll simply click on the image and Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac. And then what I'll do is I will, so that's duplicated the image and I'll just snap it into place directly over top of the other one. So now what I will do is I will do pretty much the same thing is I will click on the image at the top I'll format the picture I will crop it so it's square and so now we have that in place and now of course I will do the same thing as I did before and I will mask that to the, the circular shape and of course what happens when I get out of there is it won't look any different but if I go ahead and click on the on the image at the back and I have a black background on my slide so I'll make that transparent now you can see what happens so I've still left the whole image in there but I have highlighted the element on the image that I want people to be drawn to there are other ways we can do this to mask over the insignificant parts so I'll just take the transparency out of that and another way we can do that is to simply add a shape. I'm just going to add a rectangular shape. We can make that any color we want. So I'm just going to fill it, say, with this color. And probably not the perfect color, but then I am going to make that transparent. And, and I will simply send that backwards. And so then we have added a little bit of color to our slide and still highlighted the fact that they are holding hands. So masks really are for more than just masquerade balls. So there you have it, 
a very simple little trick to help you make your presentation slides stand right out from the crowd. And of course, as usual, I'd love to hear your comments.